Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. We are back with the Ted Show. Happy Monday, Monday, November 16th. Super excited to have my old friend. He's probably younger than I am, but we've been friends a long time. Alan Coach. Gooch, what's up, Coach? How are you doing today? Ted, thank you so much for having us on. We really appreciate the opportunity always to talk a little Cure Bowl. I love when we talk Cure Bowl. You know how much I love Cure Bowl. I love when we talk sports since I know nothing about it, but I do enjoy sporting events. Uh, we've got this really cool Central Florida sports panel luncheon coming up this week at the Citrus Club. And so Alan and I are going to talk about that. But before we take a deep dive, you know, they want to know a little bit about you. You're like a hometown hero. You're a big. <laughs> I love the face. You're a big dog here, coach. So tell us a little bit about you. Well, thank you, Ted. Uh, uh, Linda and I have have had the opportunity to to live and work and be around our alma mater for the last you know forty years. So it's been fun, and uh, and it's been a lot of fun uh, beginning this board, uh, an advisory board, the members and the sponsors with the Cure Bowl, and uh, it's just it's just been awesome. And yes, it's been a long time, and you've been a part of this thing since, since that two thousand and eight. And uh, so, yeah, we're, it, it's that yeah, long. isn't it? Yeah. So we 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 uh, we love UCF. We love the Cure Bowl and we love Orlando and the community. And we're just glad to still be here thumping along, trying to to, to give back. What's that been like during pandemic, especially for bowl games? Give us a little bit of update. When we had our meeting the other day, I was intrigued and we didn't get to talk much about it. So tell us a little bit about what that looks like, because I think people want to get back involved, but they don't know what's coming up. And we talked a little bit about the bowls at our meeting. So share whatever you can with the uh, with all of our TED show guests. Absolutely, Ted. Uh, you know, like a lot of businesses, what we've been talking about the last six, seven months is a lot of logistics and, and tactics because you have to develop contingency plans or where uh, or what the virus is going to look like yeah. uh, daily and uh, trying to project. So I, I, I've uh, called it uh, to, to a lot of people. I've said, it feels like I'm just digging a bunch of holes in my backyard. And now I'm going to be trying to fill them Keep up. Digging. Yeah. So I don't know which, which hole we're going to fill up and which one we're going to use to, uh, to start this thing. But uh, fortunately uh, we have got a date and that, and that's great because there are six bowls around the country that aren't going to have an opportunity to have bowl games for their com communities. And these bowl games are important. You know, there's a lot of com community impact. Obviously the Cure Bowl, we're raising money for cancer research, but uh, you know, the, the Sentinel and the, and the Econ economic development uh, center, they, they have impact studies done. And even the Cure Bowl, we have a $20 million impact annually on central Florida. And that's, people flying in, hotels, rental cars, restaurants, bars, all of that. And so, uh, you know, it's disappointing to hear that six communities around the country aren't going to have that that bowl for that economic impact this year. Fortunately, we're going to have it. Uh, yeah. Still, yeah, we still don't know until December 1st what our stadium capacity is going to be. But we do know that December 26th, which is a Saturday later than we typically took, to kick off, we usually kick off on the third Saturday in December. This year it's going to be the fourth Saturday in December, which happens to be the day after Christmas, which is a big e ratings day. People are always watching television and spring uh, day after Christmas at their homes. And so we're happy about that, just to have that opportunity to, to keep plugging, keep our platform out there for raising money for cancer research, specifically Dr. Annette Khalid here in Central Florida at the cancer, UCF Cancer Research Center. So we're excited about that. I, I'm excited about the whole thing. Tell people though, um, Cure Bowl is unique. I feel like it's unique. Maybe other people have jumped on board. This is a bowl that is geared specifically toward the towards cancer re research. So yeah. it's very charitable in in its thought process. You want to give back, you want to raise money. Um, that's unique, I think, in the bowl world, isn't it? It is. Uh, most bowls have charity partners, but they don't have it out front. And for various reasons, sponsorships, television partners, et cetera, uh, we were able to create ours with the charity component out front and hang it on to that uh, for the sixth year. And uh, and it is it is unique and it's a lot of fun, a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. You guys put so much work. All right, 
a ton of work in the community. So that website and everything is tagged in the original post, guys. So if you want to know more, um, please go to that site. I've tagged Alan. I've tagged the Cure Bowl. We'll get you there. Definitely support. This is a local, locally grown and and I mean, all the blood, sweat, and tears are all uh, started in a local um, arena. And I think it's just so important for us to get behind it and support it for so many reasons. But we're also here to talk about the Central Florida Sports Panel Luncheon, which is at the Citrus Club this week. Tell us a little bit about that. I mean, you know, I'm not a sports guy, but I love to hear about sports and the things that are going on in our community, which is the thought process behind this luncheon because sports as you said earlier has a great economic impact on our community so tell us a little bit about the luncheon yeah uh, you know citrus club is has always been a great partner of the uh, orlando sports foundation and the cure bowl and and ted as you know you, we've been members you know since way back and it brings a lot of community leaders uh, to the Citrus Club, and so Citrus Club, Citrus Club has always been kind of a hub downtown for leadership. You just never know who's going to walk in the door, you know, a John Morgan or a or a, a Buddy Dyer or an Alan Johnson or a Ted Bogert. You know, <laughs> I was going to say in. or an Alan Gooch. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Always got some good business. So we wanted to give the Citrus Club a big shout out and really appreciate all that they've done for the Cure Bowl in the past six years. Uh, but uh, they're putting together a sports panel with Steve Hogan with his Florida Citrus Sports. And Steve and this uh, and FCS run two bowl games uh, in the Orlando Sports Foundation. I'll be there speaking as well. We run one a bowl game. And then uh, I know Jason Siegel is going to be there, uh, the CEO of Go Sports, Greater Orlando Sports uh, Commission. Uh, they're tasked with bringing in sporting events to Orlando. And like we just talked about, uh, you know, the, all the economic impact that can be created uh, through those sporting events. And then also um, Kay is going to be there. Um, you know, Kay is uh, with uh, uh, the Orlando City Lions and the Orlando City Pride. And, you know, we're excited to always hear from her and, and, and what's going on with Orlando City. I think it's so important because our, our city, I felt like we were on this verge of true sports acknowledgement and expansion and then COVID hit. And so it's just so good to see that there's so many amazing organizations like Jason's. And of course, um, I love Orlando City Soccer. I love you guys. Who am I missing? All of you. Steve Hogan, fraternity brother yeah. of mine. I love Hogan. Yeah. But yeah. what you're doing is really impacting the economics of the city and our our growth ability, because let's face yeah. it, the major cities in the country have major league kind of uh, not only just bowl games, but teams in each of the sports. And so what people don't remember is that brings so much economic growth to the yep. city. So it's an important thing for everybody to come and listen to you all talk about what you're dealing with, what you're going through, how you pivoted, what the growth is for 2021. Everybody yeah. is looking forward to January 1st, whether they should be or not. And so we all wanna hear what the plans are, assuming our world goes back to some sort of normal in 2021. That's right. I, I think everybody's gonna throw those glasses down extra hard this year after, Absolutely. Uh, after New Year's Eve. But to your point, uh, Ted, no doubt about it. Uh, concerts are important. Love going to concerts, shows, you know, sports are just another uh, uh, entertainment venue. And it does offer offer that opportunity. But it's uh, it's always great to hear from leaders in the sport community, I think, because you can tie it in with other business uh, and how you're operating. You know? So it's a it's a, it's a big win win for anybody that would attend. It's a big, big win. So. You can go to citrus-club.com, find out information. You can reach out to me, Alan, Kay, anybody. This is this lunch is is it tomorrow or Wednesday? Wednesday. Wednesday. So Wednesday at eleven thirty, I believe, at the Citrus right. Club. Right. Um, you can come. You get a nice lunch, and then you get to hear Alan and Steve and Jason and Kay speak on the current state of affairs as far as sports go in our in our beautiful community. Um, any parting words of wisdom you wanna share with them, Alan, before we go out? Oh yeah, I've, uh, our staff, they'll, if they're listening or, or they'll, they'll be laughing when I mention this, that uh, 
you know, we can't control the wind, everybody. We can't. The wind is going to blow however it's going to blow. But the one thing that you can do is control your sail and how you adjust to that wind. And so my hat's off to everybody that's continuing to, to work through these challenging times. But I do think it is important that we all do try to do that. Because there's uh, young people that haven't had the opportunity to walk across the stage at graduation. That's, that's just, that's, you know, that breaks your heart. Or teams that weren't being able to do this, or people weren't able to go to concerts, or canceling vacations and all. I think, you know, try to work through these things while we do take care of those that need it is important. But to have that fighting spirit to keep going is important. So the wind is blowing. Just keep adjusting your sail. Adjust your sail. That should be our hashtag for this show. There you Coach. Go. All right. Coach Gooch, Alan Gooch, thank you so much. Thank you, uh, you should come out. When do you get to hear all of these local, uh, well, really national, but I'm going to say local, <laughs> celebrity sports people uh, talking about sports? We have so many sports fanatics in our town, and we have so many businesses that are impacted by how well the sports arena does and by arena i mean all of the organizations that alan and i have been talking about it's yeah. just so critical for us to get behind it because it is such a big part of our economy so you guys come check it out citrus-club.com you can reach out to me or alan but the luncheon is this wednesday at the citrus club 11 30. coach thank you so much for thank being on the show you. give Lisa well, everybody. appreciate you guys so much all right. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. We're out. We'll see you back Bye. soon. Thanks. See you Wednesday. Wednesday.